Assalamu alaikum hello and namaste welcome to another inspiring episode number 123 of the limelight i'm your host farin here and i'm a voice coach and also writing a book which will be published soon so today on the hot seat we have a very charismatic personality she is an educator and also an entrepreneur and she has her own online business which is called Begum's online store and she is also coaching people for english speaking so listeners please welcome our guest razia begum assalam alaikum razia how are you doing today i am great alhamdulillah wa alaikum salam farhi it's nice to have you on my podcast uh, yeah it's my pleasure to be here and likewise so razia before we talk about your achievements your work and uh, what you do i want you to tell our listeners about yourself uh yes um i am razia begum from mangalore mom of two amazing kids hifza and farhas and uh, wife of the best husband hidai who are my great support system in my journey of life alhamdulillah thanks to almighty and uh, back in school days i was good in studies also in art i used to get recognition in art and uh, stage decoration in my institution so when i was uh, in college i was a uh, topper in the school uh, and college also uh, in maths and statistics even though i was uh, good in studies i could not pursue my degree because i was hailing from remote area and uh, because of which i prefer doing diploma in web designing in aptech that was near to my place so at the age of 19 i got engaged and uh, after some time i got married to and i could not continue my studies so i that was there in my mind because of that uh, my husband supported me and he made me you know uh, learn fashion designing uh, even after getting two kids my mother in law also supported me because of which i could continue my teacher's training and uh, i was serving as a teacher and trainer there that's about my life that's amazing to know about you razia and i pray that god blesses you and your family with all the health and happiness in life i mean thank you so much same to you dear <laughs> thank you so much dear okay so now the main thing what really inspired you to start an online business which is begum's online store uh i had done fashion designing so i was interested in designing clothes i wanted to start my own uh, boutique also but uh, my te- my profession was teaching na? so i did not have time for that so i thought let me start it online so i discussed with my partner and also with my sister Rubina Begum. Then I just started with our surname, and uh, Alhamdulillah, it went good. I started at the year of two thousand seventeen, and uh, we got many customers from India, also from abroad. The first order, the bigger order, I got from Sydney. That that time, you know, it was easier for me to supply to outer countries. But now, the uh, you know the courier charges are so high. I cannot. send abroad that much but we have uh, alhamdulillah good customers in india itself that's about my business and uh, it's going well alhamdulillah alhamdulillah yes i mean i have seen a lot and i have also ordered few items from your store they they were very nice and uh, also you know at the end of the podcast we will give links and also in the description regarding Razia's online store. So Razia, now you said you're also an educator, right? And uh, yeah. you have with teaching, you have also started coaching people on English speaking. Now, how did that happen? Um, I was serving in an institution. So after serving uh, for three years, it was uh, the time I felt like I should change my institution, but I did not give any interview anywhere. and i told about that incident uh, in your podcast also in intuition right that day so how it went you know? yeah so i got an offer from other institution to work as teacher trainer 
not by giving any interview just by talking on the phone she selected me just because of my conversation with her okay which we had on phone itself so as a teacher training trainer i had always found english plays very important role in communication so that's why i thought let me just start it online because it was uh, the time even though i was selected i could not join the work because that pandemic hit every sector not only education then i thought as uh, i manage my online store i can still teach students through online and make use of social media and share my skills or knowledge you know teaching english is truly rewarding as they have great um, scope everywhere and i connected to many trainers and students across india and abroad now i'm focusing on my youtube channel which focus uh, on um, personality development along with english tips which is essential part now it is so i'm on that uh, i'm just working on it now right right uh, and it's mm. really a good initiative to do this because even though people uh, they learn english in school and colleges but talking they're not able to do it fluently let me tell you i'm not from english medium myself mm-hmm. i think because of uh, you know my remote area that mm-hmm. thing i i could not get english education at my high school or uh, primary mm-hmm. times you know i just uh, went for um like i just learned english in two years okay my pc that's it after that i joined my teacher training then only i started teach and uh, you know talking in english the basic grammar that's the you know main key you, which you should focus on so fluency and all it comes later on but basic grammar should be good so whoever the student i had in teacher training there also i faced uh, um like uh, one of the students she had very you know bad you know knowledge in english and that's why she could not score much and there is no scope for those people na so that is it. yes right now uh, after all this serious question i have a fun segment for you where it's you know it's a rapid fire round where i'll be asking three random questions okay and yeah. uh, you can answer them in one word or a sentence okay yeah okay so my first question is uh, which is your favorite movie till date i think of uh, tari zameen par and uh, three idiots okay so you are an amir khan fan not so but my husband loves his movies and okay. uh, we used to go to the theaters those days no so okay. i like them and actually amir khan is my inspiration to become a teacher you know oh okay uh, in dar zameen par how he used to carry himself uh, and he was the art teacher na no? yes and i am interested in art and i am the art teacher also in teacher training section okay psychology and art section i take that thing because it's my interest that's that's good that's good okay now second question which is one best surprise gift you ever got hmm. surprise gift uh, gifts are given by my husband only and i don't remember which one is that but okay. i like whatever he gives me okay <laughs> fine fine okay yeah. last question is are you a tea person or a coffee person um i don't prefer both also that much i but i prefer coffee much i don't drink tea at all okay i prefer coffee better than that okay yeah. nice nice actually i like boost you know boost so okay my husband husband used to tell me like boost is the secret of your energy to fight with me <laughs> right <laughs> that is funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> good 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 that the, those answers were amazing and uh, you know that was nice okay we enter to the last segment of our show where we ask your advice for our listeners i just want to say everyone if you have a skill use it wisely to become something in life don't regret later rather work on yourself and make others proud who trusted you by your consistent action and plans Let me tell you if I choose to sit at home and just relax I would not have the opportunity to explore and experience all these things so no age no caste 
can stop you from having a life of yours with flying colors and a special message to all the girls out there even girls can study or work after marriage or having kids if you cannot go out you can earn from home if you use social media in the right approach in this pandemic too we could learn earn teach even get recognized for instance because of pandemic there was no normal schools but still i tried virtual contest uh, and mashal i got uh, some prizes or so uh, because my poetry was selected uh, in the top 5 by agarkar's academy so here you can see we can find any opportunity in the diverse effect Yeah, opportunities we can get any good opportunities if, even though we are having troubles in our life so uh, we should not ever feel that our life is imperfect so my advice is just feel free to do whatever you like don't give up and uh, rather rise to the occasion yes yes i totally agree with you on that and uh, your your advice and your message they were fantastic and yeah. as you said like you know education is important but then the skills are more important don't yeah. underestimate yourself because even if you don't have a degree now mark zucker's work he was not a graduate but didn't he mm-hmm. make facebook okay yeah. so when you have a skill hone it and you will surely succeed it and confidence and have a support of somebody who always yeah. motivates you yeah yeah that's true right we should be surrounded by such friends and family who support you exactly you. yes so. and even if you don't have any support you try to get someone on youtube or google you idolize and take inspiration yeah. from their life yeah correct yeah yes. correct. right we have well, so many friends you must be knowing we have the group be the change there yes. we have so many educators from uh, ngo from Uh, news isn't exactly it? exactly so people who inspire us that is very yeah. true very true like minded people can take the society forward <laughs> i'm happy to say another thing that uh, what i earned on my uh, like uh, online teaching right that those mm-hmm. days i like, means i use those amount to give to the poor people uh, of some ngo that time oh, i was okay. glad that you know because it was not for me i thought uh, Allah had given me this opportunity to just serve the society. Of course. What, with whatever, is it? Yes. So meanwhile, now also we have groups where people are helping each other in COVID crisis. Yeah. And uh, so many things are going on. True. Inshallah, we'd like to serve the society in the future. Yes, everybody should have this kind of uh, mentality and personality. Yeah. We are not rich enough, but still we should give something from ourselves only. Yes. That's what uh, Almighty said, right? So yes. let's see inshallah praying for that day that we do something for the society yes. more from our side so even yes. my husband has the same thing in mind so just pray for that thing yes yes inshallah for sure and uh, razia i thank you so much for taking out time from your busy busy schedule and doing this podcast with me thank you so much for reaching out here yeah. It's been great, great, great pleasure to talk to you <laughs> related to this. Otherwise, we talk normally, isn't? It? Yes, of course. Okay, that was end of the interview. And listeners, if you have liked this interview, please do click on the like button of the Limelight page. And this podcast will be available on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and all the podcasting platforms. Do like and share, and also subscribe to my channel and also Rosia's channel. Thank you for listening. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.